Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Rich Pigs Daily, where you can join the club and you can win big. If you like to learn how to trade, you came to the right place, to Rich Pigs Daily, where all we do is find undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities first. Speaking of that, how about Heli? Put Heli on your watch list, put on your radar first. Helium, with big breaking news, announces the 130 light oil discovery at Worsley. Significant initial production revenue anticipated in Q1 2022. First, Helium Inc. Put on your radar, put on your watch list, H-E-L-I on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange, 2MC in Frankfurt, Germany. A helium exploration company with access to significant development opportunities across Western Canada today announced it has drilled, completed, and tested company's first exploration well on the company's Worsley property, the 1-30. Upon completion, the 1-30 flowed 419 barrels per day of 35 degrees API light oil from the Leduc formation over a test period of 72 hours on a minimal drawdown. First Helium is preparing to bring the I-30 into production in early Q1 2022 at a daily production rate of approximately 400 barrels a day. Preparations are underway to put the well into production at a cost of approximately Canadian 5 100,000 Canadian with first cash flow expected by the end of the first quarter of 2022. Oil production from the well will be transported by truck to select receipt terminals and marketed via third party marketing agreements. Cash flow from the well will be deployed to accelerate the exploration and development of helium gas over the company's 79,000 acres of land along the Worsley trend, as well as cover ongoing corporate GNA costs. And based on current price for light oil and an estimated production rate of 400 barrels a day, First Helium estimates the payback of the well to be approximately six months. Management commentary. Ed Beresnicki, president and CEO of First Helium, stated, we are extremely pleased with the performance of the I, the 1-30 discovery well, given current commodity pricing of approximately WTI 65 to 70 USD per barrel and our estimated field netbacks of Canadian 45 to 50 per barrel. Guys, that's, that's pretty good, right? We expect the well to pay out in approximately six months. Mr. Beresnicki added, based on the current implied production trading multiples for Canadian light oil producers, this well represents a significant potential increase in asset value for first helium shareholders, capturing the aggregate value of this exceptional exploration success, along with potential development locations for shareholders, will enhance the company's ability to deliver on its key strategic objective of exploring for and developing helium production in the Worsley trend. David Safton, Vice President, Geoscience, commented, while this drilling result confirms our geologic model over the prolific Worsley trend and bolsters our confidence in our exploration strategy for the region, it also demonstrates that given the location of the Worsley trend within the Western Canadian sedimentary basin, the WCSB, there is also a real probability of discovering reasonably large economic pools of light oil, which I believe will be hugely, hugely rewarding, Mr. Safton added. The flow test results indicate a significant commercial accumulation of high quality oil, while Leduc oil accumulations along the Worsley trend are not as common as our primary target. 
Leduc gas, we estimate that approximately 20% of Leduc wells present as oil wells. Drilling and logging information from the borehole indicate that two additional formulations are prospective for helium. 1-30 highlights, drilled based on a detailed 3D seismic evaluation. The 1-30 confirms the company's geologic model over the area based on the company's assessment of the economic Leduc wells along the Worsley trend, approximately 20% have been light oil producers. The balance has been natural gas producers. Key features of the 1-30 include production tested at 419 barrels per day of 35 degree API light oil flowed over a period of 72 hours with minimal drawdown at a total drill and complete cost of approximately 1.9 million Canadian production test results for the 1-30 suggest that it is an exceptional vertical oil well in the WCSB. The 1-30 will provide the company with flexibility in securing funding to continue with its primary strategic objective, which is to explore and develop its land holdings on the helium-rich Worsley trend. And once production on the 1-30 is established, the company intends to engage its independent reserve engineering consultant to evaluate the 1-30 well for inclusion in year-end corporate contingent resource and reserve estimates in accordance with 51-101 guidelines. This would include an independent estimate of the net present value of the reserves associated with the 1-30. What are the next steps? Based on the further evaluation of these expiration results, First Helium will be confirming its drilling program at Worsley for H1 2022, which will include prior prioritizing its drill prospect inventory for helium, favoring locations which may also provide exposure to the potential for light oil accumulations, selecting its next helium drill location, and commencing drilling in early 2022, evaluating a number of lower cost well bore reentries on the existing Worsley land base and on lands acquired during the recently announced land and infrastructure acquisitions, and evaluating potential light oil development locations on the 1-30 pool in connection with exploring alternatives to monetize 1-30's asset value. Over the first half of 2022, the company will evaluate alternatives for monetizing the intrinsic asset value of 1-30 to further its strategic helium exploration and development objectives. This may include entering into hedging arrangements to guarantee predictable levels of cash flow for ongoing project development and possible underpinning of gas processing facility financing alternatives. So let's tell you a little bit about first helium. Once again, the symbol is HELI, H-E-L-I. First Helium Inc. is a helium exploration and development company operating in the Worsley area of Alberta, Canada. In response to the shifting supply dynamics of global helium marketplace, First Helium was founded to capitalize on the untapped potential of significant helium resources in Western Canada, building on its successful discovery well, which has repeatedly, which has had repeated production tested at over 1.3% of helium content and 65% natural gas content. And it's 1-30 success. First Helium is working to develop its land base of over 79,000 acres along the highly prospective Worsley helium trend and 276,000 acres of select exploration option lands located in Southeast Alberta, nearing existing helium operations to establish its operating base. First Helium seeks to market its helium gas into North American market via term off take marketing agreements and arrangements with established third party distribution companies. So let's just break this down. This is huge, huge, huge news for First Helium. So to break this down, the net back in the release is their margin per barrel, 
which is 45 to 50 dollars canadian so to calculate how much revenue first helium will be having per month you have to do the following 400 barrels a day times $45 a barrel will take on the low end. We're going to be conservative times 30 days equals 540,000 Canadian per month, which they anticipate this revenue should flow for approximately a minimum of six months. So that's 540,000 Canadian per month for a minimum of six months. So approximately 3 million Canadian over the next six months for First Helium. Pretty huge. And they will also be continuing to explore for helium targets where there could be oil backup. And I just want to make sure everybody understands that First Helium is an exploration company and not an oil and gas company. Okay. Despite the fact that they have found and struck some oil, they're not an oil and gas company. The, the uses of helium gas and liquid helium by industry, just so you guys are, under, are understood and aware, what are the industries that are using helium? Aerospace and aircraft from manufacturing to flight. Helium is widely utilized throughout the aerospace and aircraft industry. Automotive and transportation equipment, diving, electronics, healthcare, welding, and metal fabrication, just to name a few areas of focus and interest for First Helium. Now, let's just break down some more information on First Helium. All right, so you guys can see here, this is their website, firsthelium.com. Please go to the website, learn more about the company. You can learn more about First Helium, learn about them, get investor information, and even contact them. You can see a project-driven Helium Discovery Development and Production Company. And if we scroll down, you can see here, First Helium Inc. is a Canadian company developing helium production to meet growing demand in the high-tech global market. Company's position to become a leading North American producer, leveraging a de-risk strategy to achieve near-term cash flow. The company has recently raised approximately $12 million, which it will develop and deploy primarily to the development of its Worsley Helium project, anchored by its successful helium discovery well. And you can see here, First Helium is well positioned to deliver helium production and cash flow growth from its Worsley property, which will drive future expansion from its extensive portfolio of exploration lands and prospective territory. And it is a critical finite resource. Helium is a relatively uncommon on Earth, despite being the second most prevalent element in the universe. Helium is very difficult to trap and store due, its, due to its lack of density. It quickly rises and dissipates into the atmosphere. The majority of atmospheric helium is lost as it escapes the atmosphere and into space. Canada is well positioned to be the next major North American producer of helium. And I believe if you're looking for a helium stock, Put First Helium on your radar, put it on your watch list. Heli, H E L I, big technology companies like Amazon, Google, Facebook, and Netflix all depend on this gas to keep their servers running around the clock. Helium has everyday applications in the technology and medical industries, as well as space travel and national security, among others. You can see here it's a critical gas for building cars, high speed internet cables, phones, tablets and computers required in the health sector to cool magnets in MRI machines, identified as one of the 35 minerals crucial to the US national security. Now let's take a look at the stock price. So what I've done is I've marked the zone, which I would consider the buy zone. You can see here, it's been public since August when it hit its high high, and I'll mark its high high. All right, we'll mark the high high of the zone which was about 38 and a half cents. And you can see the low, low of the zone, which is about 18 cents. And we're currently sitting at 21 and a half. So in my opinion, based on the chart, based on the fact that they've got some really big revenues coming and we've got some growth, 
They've got, they've raised some money. And I feel like this is a company that is very undervalued, extremely underappreciated and underexposed. I believe that we are already in the buy zone. And I feel like based on the chart, and you can see it on the chart yourself, these zones of 21 and a half and lower would be what I would consider the buy zone. So if you can get into these levels or lower, I think you're doing pretty good. And then I think the upside all the way from these levels, let's just say you got into 21 and a half. Or say you got into 21 and a half right around here. And then you brought it up and it went back to its all time highs of 38 cents. The upside to all time highs from these levels is around 80%. So big upside for Heli to go back to its all time highs, which it did right around its IPO date. So it's never gone back there. And I believe that there's a very good chance with these wells now getting into production and the revenue potential of 540,000 per month Canadian for the next six months that we could see them go back to those levels and beyond, which would be a nice return for investors at these levels. Now, I wanted to also show you a little bit about their investors deck. You could see here, First Helium is well positioned to deliver helium production and cash flow from its Worsley project, which will drive future expansion from its substantial inventory of exploration projects that is directly from the CEO, who hopefully I'll be able to interview and get on our show pretty soon. You can see company overview and highlights. Company has a strong working capital position of 7.5 million, which it is deploying primarily to the development of its Worsley Helium project anchored by its successful Discovery Well. The Discovery Well has tested at 1.3% helium content and 65% natural gas content. First Helium has a land and seismic review, and given its advanced helium asset base, the company's common shares trade at a compelling valuation. So what are the investment highlights? Global demand. Helium is a high value, finite resource, vital to the aerospace, healthcare, and high-tech sectors because of its physical properties. Compelling economics. Long life. High net back production profile lends itself to responsible, non-dilutive financing alternatives for infrastructure. Large, undeveloped land base over 79,000 acres of prospective helium bearing lands on trend with the Discovery Well, large exploration inventory potential, expansive seismic and land review option on over 880,000 acres of prospective helium exploration land. Resource de-risked, the, company, the company's helium rich Discovery Well is ready to be equipped and brought into production attractive valuation. With the production-ready Discovery Well qualified by an independent engineering evaluation and contiguous upside lands, First Helium is attractively valued relative to its public company peers. Liquidity, First Helium's common shares were listed on the TSXV on July 12th, ticker HELI, so only been public for a few months, and environmentally conscious. First Helium is committed to leading the way in environmental and operational excellence in the nascent Canadian helium exploration and development sector, striving to surpass government regulations. Now I'm gonna tell you guys something. We talk to a lot of companies, very few of them are helium companies. So if you're looking for a helium stock, you need to put this on your radar and put on your watch list right now. You can see some of the comparisons to the peer group comparison highlights. Healy stands out from its peers with a production tested discovery well backed by independent engineering evaluation report. So you can see here some of the other companies that have much larger market caps and you can see their land positions. And right now, independent engineering evaluation contingent resource estimate. The only one is first helium. That means bingo to me folks. And performance tests, you can once again see that first helium is one of the only ones that actually has three extended flow tests, most recent a 10 day test. So huge, huge, huge opportunity right now and a baby market cap for first helium. And you can see some of their peers, Imperial Helium, IHC, Global Helium, HECO, 
Blue Star Helium, BNL, Royal Helium, RHC, and Avanti Energy, AVN, and Desert Mountain, DME, all with bigger market caps with First Helium. So not many companies out there to compare themselves to, but when you do compare themselves to the handful of companies that do exist, they look undervalued. I mean, look at the baby market cap, despite the fact that they have a nice land position, they've got independent engineering evaluation, which nobody else has, and performance tests. So in my opinion, they are well positioned to explode. You can look at the corporate bench depth. So this is their management team. Look at their experience. First Helium boasts a seasoned management team, board and advisor group with successful track record and experience in oil and gas exploration and production, capital markets and finance. Helium project development, construction and project management and mining exploration and development. You can see Vance Lober, who is the founder, Ed Beresnicki, who is the present CEO and director, Robert J. Scott, who's the CFO and director, David Safton, who's the vice president of geosciences, and Sean Wysikowski, the vice president of engineering. And you can see all of their experience. So very experienced management team. You can see the capitalization and ownership. Management and directors collectively own or control 20% of the company's outstanding common shares. So they got skin in the game. Share capitalization table, basic shares, 65.6 million, options of 6.1 million, warrants, 28.4 million, fully diluted, 100 million shares. And you guys know I love companies with 100 million shares or less. This is 100 million shares, fully diluted, with approximately 7.5 million in cash. Management, directors, advisors, and key shareholders collectively own or control 38% of the company's outstanding common shares. So it's extremely tightly held. What are the next steps? For the next 18 months, Worsley project activities, perform detailed Worsley facility engineering and design, secure facility financing strategy and order equipment, begin to drill and production test new Worsley wells, commission facility and commence helium production. Exploration upside activities, finalize technical evaluation of Worsley undeveloped lands, continue seismic data interpretation on new areas of lands and prioritize and position for further exploration, drilling at Worsley and new area lands. A very attractive valuation, First Helium compares well to its trading group peers. We broke that down already. Only a 12.8 million market cap, a baby market cap with 7.5 million cash in hand and more revenue coming. All right, so that's what we got for First Helium Inc. Love to know what you guys think about this video. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. You can learn more at their website at firsthelium.com where you can go and learn more about this company. Now, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe that this is a company that is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. Huge big news. What do you guys think? Comment on the video. Let me know. What do you think about Heli? H E L I. First Helium, First Helium Inc. I think it has a chance to be a huge winner to put on your radar, put on your watch list, and let me know what you guys think. Do you already own this stock? Are you thinking about buying this stock? Is it at the right price? Are you waiting for a dip? Let me know. Is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live? I think it has a chance to be a special deal. We don't hear about too many helium companies. I'm going to start researching more and more about helium companies, but I think this is a small cap. Helium company with money in the bank and a baby market cap with room to grow. Love to know what you guys think. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think about First Helium Inc. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live, bringing you Heli, H E L I, First Helium Inc. What do you guys think? It's your boy Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out.